Welcome back to the channel, my name is T Cypher and today we're going to be looking at the new Maverick AGM65 Echo 2 that has just been released into the DCS AV8B Harrier. This is part of a series of change which has affected all the Maverick range of weapons including the standard 65 Echo and the Foxtrot. With the latest update you can no longer use the T-Pod at the same time as the AGM65 Foxtrot or the Echo. This also means that you can no longer self-designate your own target when using the Echo in the Harrier and have to get a second person to do it for you. However, with the Echo 2, you can self-designate and there are some minor changes in how this behaves. As per normal, I'll be using active pause to demonstrate the purposes and I am in a Harrier carrying a T-Pod and a pair of Echo 2s. Okay, so let's begin then. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our EHS uh, MFD on the left hand side and I'm going to bring up the stores page. Okay we can see we have the LMV2 marked here. Now what's going to happen is that unlike previously with the Mavericks you now have a cooldown function or oh, it's actually a gyro stabilization period for the uh, Echo type Mavericks. With the Echo 2 it's 90 seconds and I believe the echo is either 30 or 60 seconds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit LMV2 and hit start on my clock on the left hand side. We can see the counter going and we can see it showing a standby. Now the thing to be aware, if you have your teapot up at this moment in time, you would not be able to see this on the left hand side. You would just see the stores page and you would not be able to tell if it's ready or not. So I'm going to go master arm on, air to ground mode. So I'm pretty much ready to go. So we can see the counter, we're about coming up to 30 seconds, still on standby. Now if I bring the teapot up on the left right hand MFD, you can see we've now lost the, the video feed from the Maverick. This is because the Maverick and the teapot share the same video feed. This is why you cannot so, uh, see the video feed of the F or the Echo at the same time as the teapot's active. But with the Echo 2 they implemented software updates. So if I come up to standby, I'm going to quickly bring the EHSD up on the left hand side, designate present waypoint 1 because I know I've got some baddies down there, head back to stores there. Okay, I'm going to double depress hold TAS to bring up to hold TAS mode and I'm going to zoom in to the target. Okay, so this is my normal target area. We can see we've got a buck there. I'm not going to be able to, not sure if I'm actually be able to come and kill these because I might get shot down before I reach them, but I'm sure that'd be of interest. So I'm going to come out of safe mode, bring the laser into the yard mode, look across, and we're just approaching 90 seconds there. So what we should be able to do is we should be able to go center select up for long, and it temporarily brings up the page on the right MFD, and we can see we're ready. So I press it again, long up, and it reverts back to the T-Pod. Okay, so now we're set up. We have our target in on site. We're a bit of a long range, so I'm going to have to come out of active pause and get us closer to the target. Now, there's an important element to the procedure of how you uncage and fire the laser for the um, 65 Echo 2. Don't know if this affects the game, but in real life, you need to make sure you uncage the uh, Maverick first before you fire the teapod. Otherwise, there's a risk of you actually the Maverick head locking onto the teapod itself. So I'm going to use that procedure. So let's come out of that to pause. Okay. And you will notice there's a little X at the top of the head. That's the seeker head of the laser Maverick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to release the, 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 the seeker head and you can see it's bouncing left to right. Okay, still a bit far out, but now we've got the seeker head on going. And this is for demonstration purposes. You'd actually generally want to make sure you're in range because the fun of T-Pod lasers in uh, DCS. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go nose down to bring the bouncing X somewhere in the region of the uh, where the laser's marking. Okay, now see we have a lock. OK, 
Okay, still a bit out of range. Okay. Bearing in mind the DCS, you've got an effective range of lasers of about seven and a half, eight miles. So I'm going to wait until I get to about eight miles, then rifle away. And rifle. Okay. I'm a mark, and I'm going to start to slow turn away just to keep myself in range. Let it stabilize. And let's follow the missile. Okay, the model wise, this looks like it's the same model as the normal Echo. But let's follow it in. Okay, we can see that bug that I've got targeted up. And there we have a good shack. Okay, and that completes today's little tutorial. Uh, like I said before, just be aware of these changes moving forward. Please like and subscribe, and see you all next time.